Well, the day you're watching this is April 15th, and this is Steve Rudgell saying, I do know what today is. It's in the United States, it's tax day. It's the day our income tax is due. Now, for most people, it's really your, it's really your, I guess your <laughs> tax form is due, your return is due, because most of us pay taxes all year, either help held out of our checks at work or you pay quarterly or whatever. And so it's it's really your tax return that you have to have in today. Most of you have paid your money, but if not, you pay what you owe today. And you know, I, I think about that because I'm like everybody else. It's one of those, <clears throat> I don't want to do this. Boy, the tax, I pay too much in taxes and I, I get it. And I even know the tax code is not always fair. I mean, some of you are, will be bitter about some tax breaks that I get. I have a ranch and have cattle on it, so I get some ag exemptions, and I get to write some expenses off for providing meat <laughs> in this world, and so I get that. And I'm a preacher. I get I actually get some tax breaks still in our country for being a preacher, things on my on our house and other things. And so some people don't think that's fair. Everybody thinks they pay too much, but I'm going to tell you kind of my philosophy on paying taxes. You know, I owe this government what's theirs. And so in the United States, they provide a number of services that I take advantage of. I mean, the ranch I just talked about, I drive out there on, well, roads provided by some government, county, city, st whoever did national, I, highways and roads. And so, okay, I, I take advantage of that. And there are other services to provide, draw Social Security. Now, somebody would argue you paid into that. I did. That's right. But now, I, I on Social Security, I go to the doctor, and I, I don't pay for a lot of that. I don't even know how all this works. I just know this, that sometimes, if you're going to use the, the things that a nation provides, you pay your taxes to that nation. And that whole idea of giving the government what belongs to the government well, I actually stole that from Jesus because he said one time, hey, give to Caesar what's his, give to God what's his. So I give as, as whatever I owe the government. I have a tax pro, Melissa, she's great, takes care of my stuff and says, here's what you owe, here's what you need to pay, and if you don't pay enough, here's what you owe now. We just wrote two checks, one for next year's quarterly to start for the 24 return, and then paid what we owed for 23. And we owed some. But you know what? That, that's what you do. I, I pay everything I owe the government. But I also take advantage of every possible tax deduction I can. I asked Melissa to comb through my stuff. I don't want anything I'm not, I shouldn't take, but I want to take everything I can because the truth is I want to pay what's fair. I don't want to pay more than I have to because... What's left that God has blessed me with, I want to give to God. And so I kind of view things as everything I have comes from God. And because I live in the United States and take advantage of things there as a citizen, I owe taxes to the United States and I pay them every dime I owe. But the rest of it I want to use in kingdom business. So I give the United States what is theirs and I try to use everything else for God because it's his. That's just my view on taxes. I may or may not be wrong. And yes, I flinched a little bit when we had to write that check this year, but that's okay. This is Steve Ridgell saying, happy tax day.